Hi everybody, it's Laura from Mad Mimi's Crochet and today is Whips, Finished Objects and Acquisitions. So I will start with the Whips. I have, kind of, I'm very very tired of doing hats. I am still doing them but I'm also working on some other stuff. So this one is from the Annie's Caring Crochet Kit Club, and I am making uh, washcloths for Claire's, or Cheris House, excuse me, for Cheris House. So these are the patterns that I have. And let me see, I think I only have two made, or three, but I'm going to pull one out. So, I have the, I just have to weave in the ends, but I have the basket weave stitch one right here, and it's in a burgundy. And then I have the, what do they call this one? It is the cabled drawing, had a brain fart. Here's the cabled one. I still have to weave in the ends for that one. And I couldn't get the third one, which is just a, a regular one, so, or they call it the Incy Dissy, I, Decky, I don't know. But I just made a round one with the extra yarn that I had. So I'll at least be able to get, um, I'll get three washcloths, but um, with the, or I'll get three more from this blue and the gray. So it'll be nine total dishcloths. Um, just two of them or three of them will just be a round one. Or I'll frog this and add the other ones to make a seventh one. We'll have to see how that goes. So this one is still working on it. Plugging away. And I'm using a... eye hook or a 5.5 millimeter and it is in an Aaron Lane bag I love Aaron Lane bags I have two favorite bag makers actually three favorite bag makers I have more of Aaron Lane bags than I do on uh, any other ones though. But I'm trying to catch up with the other ones. So I got this from her. Uh, I just brought some in. I think I, cause there's, I just put, I just brought some in somewhere or I put them in a bag somewhere. Oh, okay. That's my sidekick, my devil, my handsome man, my handsome son. Okay, so here's my Aaron Lane bag, and it says Witch's Brew on it. I got this from her, um, I think it was Halloween in July sale live sale. We got quite a few that night. We won't talk about that night. That was a an expensive night. Okay, so I have that whip. I have in another Aaron Lane bag and it's her Hollywood sheeple bag and my cat has been sleeping on this. So don't mind the cat hair. Here's the Halloween sheeple bag. Or Hollywood 
or sheeple wood, excuse me, sheeple wood bag. And from this one, I am working on the crochet surprise box from last month, making the uh, market bag. So I have all 13 squares done, and I've started putting them together. Right now I only have these two that are together, and um, you know, it's still going to take me a while, but I've at least gotten the squares completed. And with this one, we are using Lion Brand 24-7 cotton and a a uh, 4.5 millimeter hook. So I'm going to stuff these in here. Okay. For my next one. Oh, no. I'll save that one. We'll do this one. I have to save that one for last so I can tell Madonna not to watch. Okay, this one is another crochet surprise. I don't know if I'll ever finish this one. I might have to just send this and the instructions for somebody else to finish. But we're using Elise Cotton Gold. And I'm supposed to be making a... Um, what is it called? A double makeup bag. And I'm only on the first one. There is enough yarn in here to make two of them. And so this is what I have done on the first one. And uh, this one's going to take me a while because this one is out of my comfort zone. But in the box, we got... We got two, two liners, two zippers, we got thread, pins, and with this one I am using a four millimeter crochet hook. So, this one will be a work in progress for a while. Okay. Next. This bag came from... Oh, that was another Aaron Lane bag with Larry the Grumpy Sheeple. This one I actually haven't started yet, but this one, instead of being a hat, it will become a lovey. And it's kind of like shedding everywhere. And this will go to the community baby shower whenever I am. Or, and I will be starting that this week. This one is a T. Doddles bag. Christy from T. Doddles. This is one of her bags. And I have started a clothespin bag with this. And I, you know, just started. I really don't know how, uh, how I'm going to finish it or what, but I'm just using um, sugar and cream stripes in the colorway violet stripes. And... I don't have my crochet hook in here, but on my bag, it says that I'm using a size eight, or um, H, or a five millimeter. I must have had to borrow that hook from for another project. 
Okay, in another T. Doddles bag, Miss Christy, <laughs> the ever loving black yarn. This is, and look, and I have her stitch marker with this one. This is another hat for the winter clothing drive. I really, really hate working with black, but it will get done. And I am using, it oh, doesn't say, but since it's just started, I can rip it out and pull out another hook. But I think I was using a J or a 6.0 millimeter. So that's another one. And this one is an Aaron Lane bag also. And this is one from her monthly club or her every other monthly club. And I am making another hat. This one is taking a little bit longer to do. And I left my hook inside because I was just working on this. I'm making this with scraps of ice yarn. I uh, received in a swap because I like making things from scraps. So she sent me some scraps. So I have... I have actually bags and bags of scraps in all different colors. So I think I have, she sent me four bags of scraps. So this is it. The pattern is from Thais Bowles. I'm not sure how to say her name, but this is the hat. It's on her YouTube channel, but it's on her hat. I mean, it's the hat that I'm doing from her, the one that she wears a lot. And I don't know if, if I'm going to like sending that to somebody. Oh, it's upside down. Sorry. Because it's sparkly and it has orange in it. So I might just have to keep this one for myself. And I'm using a cactus stitch marker. So, Thais, thanks for the tutorial. This will take me a while to do. But that's only because I think I'm going to keep it. Okay, so another Aaron Lane bag. And I got this one from her live Halloween thing. And it says Sparkle Monster. And it's an orange. Woohoo! And I have some orange yarn in here. I have the Etrophil Cake from Hobium in this beautiful color. And the pattern that I'm using is from Crystal at Bag a Day. And I know I have lots of stitch markers on here, but it's a way that I can remember whether or not I have to start on a triple crochet for the row or a single crochet. So I have my Emily stitch marker, which is a little frog because she loved frogs. And I'm using my sister's, my memory of my sister stitch marker, which is a little turtle. But this will this will be a long way to go. And I think I'm actually going to enter this in the fair next year. So, and it has neat little bumps on it. So that's this one. And I think I'm using a 5 millimeter hook. Yes. I'm using uh, an H 5 millimeter hook. Yes, I have lots of hooks because I am prone to losing them. We have another Aaron Lane bag. And this one says, Witch Please. And in this one, 
I have, I think I've only done one row on this one, and you guys can laugh at me, but this is my very first amigurumi, and it's supposed to be a llama, oh, a giraffe. It's supposed to end up looking like this. It's an Annie's Caring Crochet kit. I have a, the stitch marker I have is a dragonfly. And that actually came in the box in my Lether um, collection subscription box. And, okay, so I have part of the head done. I'm working on the rise part of the head. This is going to take me a long time to do. I am not comfortable at all. So, if anybody wants to finish it for me, let me know. <laughs> I'm teasing. I got to get out of my comfort zone. I'm using a... Uh, 3.75 hook with this one. And... It comes with all the yarn that I need and the stuffing. So I'll be working on this for at least a couple more months. I'm slowly getting out of my comfort zone. Hats and shawls are my comfort zone. Okay. Um, and this is an Ella No Catchy Name Bag. Cutest little honeybees. Well, I call them honeybees anyway. And this is a continual work in progress. This is, and I'm using a H hook with this. Oops. But this is my scrap rug, or it's going to be a runner that I'm going to put in my hallway and it's and I'm using only a hundred percent cotton for this one uh, just so it will go in the wash easy and I just think it's really pretty I like scrap cotton rugs and I have lots and lots of purple scraps so I'm waiting I do I am putting some orange on now and the, I'm just using a half double crochet on this one all the way across. And I have lots of purples. I have this that I'm going to take out, and that's kind of a blue. And I have this one that I'm going to take out. I do have a little bit of white, but most everything else is lots and lots of purples. So I want to break up the purples, so I have to work on some more stuff so I have more colors to put in there besides purples. And I'm just using an H hook, uh, five millimeter for that one. I'm almost positive. So I'm using my light up hook. Yes, I'm using an H hook for that one. Okay, I have one more. Madonna, close your ears. And then come back after this one. This is my project bag from Expression Fiber Arts. And I am teaching myself to knit. <laughs> I am making a very, very simple, and it is simple. Um, I just, a beginner knitted scarf. And here's the pattern. And I have a hank spank on my yarn from the Foul Mouth Legion or League. No, Legion. It's an Aaron Lane hank spank. It just keeps it all nice and tight so it doesn't flop around. I don't, I mean, you can see this is all that I have done. And 
I figured out that I can't work on it when I'm tired because I've had to restart this over like five or six times. So I only work on this when I'm wide, 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 wide awake. Okay, Madonna, you can come back now. She doesn't like to hear about knitting. Okay, so that's all of my works in progress. And for my finished objects, I have this very, very wool scarf that I don't like. It's very scratchy. Um, the yarn is really, I don't know how to explain it. But, I mean, the yarn is very pretty. I got some beautiful colors, but um, it's, it's very, I mean, it is 100% wool. There, there is some give to it, but I actually had the standing up. It's super, super stiff. So, um, I mean, the colors are very pretty. Not my colors, um, but I made this for a lady who wanted it, but I don't think she's going to like it. So I have like about 12 more balls of this yarn and I am, and different colors, but I am not sure what I'm going to do with it. But I do at least have this cowl done. And it can't go to the winter clothing drive because it's not washable and dryable. Well, it could be, but then it might fit a newborn after that. Okay, so for the rest of my finished objects, more hat. I'm trying to get 30 or 40 of them done. I have a man's hat. I just need to sew in the ends. And this is using crystal um, at bag of days pattern. And I'll link that one below. I have another one. This is a, I have it inside out. I was wondering why it looked funny. This is another one from Crystal, same pattern, a bag a day, and this is for a smaller kid. That would fit my grandson, but he's a blue boy. He's not a, a brown boy. I have a black one. This one took me forever. And this is same pattern from Crystal at bag a day. I have my knit one. But I do have to finish sewing it together. Actually, it's already together. I just forgot to tuck my ends on the inside. So there's another one for a little boy. And I finished my headband from Darn Good Yarn. And I do have enough to make another one. So here's this from Darn Good Yarn, and here's the seam. I'm a, I'll put that underneath my ponytail so nobody will be able to see the seam. Um, I tried, I put the buttons on there that came with it, but it looked kind of funny. So I'll just use it underneath my ponytail. Uh, but yep, I do have enough to make another one, so I will make another one. And this can't go because it's not washable and dryable. So, that's it for my finished objects. I was very, very slow, but we Farmer Mimi had to work hard this week. Um, so, Mad Mimi didn't get as much crocheting time as she wanted. For acquisitions, I have a bag from Ella at No Catchy Name with kitty cats in costumes and the bag to go with it or the notions bag that goes with it i love ella bags i love Aaron lane bags and i love ella bags and i love t doddle bags okay i have Another 
um, Ella at No Catchy Name Bag. We all know that I had to do a farm theme. So I have roosters and a few hens. Sir Crows a lot doesn't look like any of these, but it's all right. And it has pumpkins. And I have the Notions pouch that goes with it. Oh, and her shop is filled up right now. So you might want to go take a look. I'm on a... <laughs> okay. I'm on a yarn ban. I'm not buying any more yarn. Okay. I'm trying not to buy any more yarn. Does that work? Somebody noticed my my truck was... <laughs> the back seat was full of yarn. I should have taken that out, but... Okay, it's still in there. I have to go through it. Some of it's for swaps, some of it's for prizes, and um, some of it might be for me. Might. Okay, and one more acquisition. Oh, no, I had two more. My new Erin Lane bag from the subscription that I have with her. Cute little llamas. I am not starting a new project. I'm not going to start a new project. I might start a new project. I have three new bags here. Actually, I have more than that. I have four new bags. Okay. This was a gift for somebody. It's already in the... And another acquisition that I have is these little pop-up trash cans. But um, I'm redoing my, my yarn room. And I just picked up one just because... I was like, you know, well, I can just, you know, have like a little, you know, trash can in my yarn room. And that way I can throw just little scraps and stuff that I don't need, um, that are, that I can't use for anything else in there. And, you know, it'll take forever to fill up, but, um, but then I went yarn shopping and since I'm redoing my room, um, I'm finding that these come in handy for holding yarn. So I bought 10 of them. They were originally $8. And they were then at 50% off. And then after that, they were another 80% off. I can't remember what I did, but, but I got 10 of them for less than it would have cost me to buy them if they weren't on sale. That works, right? Okay. I have another acquisition, but I have to go get it. So, Okay, my last acquisitions are from special orders that I had Billy from uh, Crafty Floridian do for me. And I have a card. And she says, Dear Laura, thank you for your order. This bag will hold a blanket and the yarn. Which is good because I'm working on two blankets. Or gonna make that four because I have two baby blankets that I have to get done by January but here's my bag I do collect coca-cola stuff so there's the bag it is a very large bag and it has that for closing so this is awesome I am so excited that I have a coca-cola bag Alrighty, 
So that's one item from Miss Billy. The other ones that I got are in this bag. And these are a mixture of presents for mm, Christmas. They are bowl cozies. So four bowl cozies will go to my brother. And I have one, two, three, four of those. So here's the that has this on the outside and this coca-cola fabric on the inside so I got those four for my brother and these four for me my kitchen is decorated in coca-cola so we are very huge coca-cola fans and so these four are mine and I got some potato sacks made and four are for my brother so I don't know these might not even hold the huge wonk and taters that we picked the other day so here's one with the inside is red and here's the outside so there's one for my brother. Here's one that has like white fizzy bubble looking things. There we go. Oops. There. In it. I might keep that one for myself. I like that one. Here's another red one on the inside. And another red one on the inside. Another white one, fizzy bubble one, on the inside. Another white fizzy bubble one on the inside. Another fizzy white one, fizzy bubbles. And another red one. So I will probably give the red one, the ones on red inside, to my brother. So, for Christmas, my brother will get four potato bags and four bowl cozies. Although, you know, he's not married. He lives by himself. Think I could get away with just sending one each and I can keep the rest? Hmm. I only need four for my husband, my son, my grandson, and me. So I guess I'll be nice and I'll send him all four. Okay. I got an, another card. Am I supposed to open those first? It says thank you. And says, Dear Laura, thank you so much for your support. We'll be starting your Damn It Doll this week. Have more Coca Cola fabric that I will make you a few things. Love, Billy. <laughs> Coca Cola stuff. That's my kind of stuff. Oh, but wait. I have two more acquisitions. I have to go get them. I'm back. All right, guys, I have two more acquisitions. And Diet Coke. Had to wet my whistle. Okay, I have two more acquisitions, and these came from Zach Stout and his husband. But I have a goat bag. Another project bag. I have a lot of project bags that are empty. I'm going to have to start filling them up. So this is my goat one. He found some really cute goat fabric for me. 
So there's one of them. And another Coca-Cola one. So here's another bag. They do have a box bottom on them. And so these beautiful bags are from Zach and his husband. And here's the inside of this one. I didn't even look on the inside of the goat one. Let's see what the inside looks like. Oh, it's cute. There's the inside. Alrighty. So, although these are not all of my acquisitions, I am... I am on a yarn band. And I might have visited Joanne's. But remember, I'm on a yarn band and I didn't buy anything. The four bags of, there are no four bags of yarn in the back of my truck. There are not four bags of yarn in the back of my truck. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. And I will see you guys in just a couple of minutes because I have more videos to film. So you'll see my shirt. Oh, this is an acquisition, too. What does it say? Oh, I'm an amazing hooker. Be jealous. I got this from Mary Maxim. Yep. So, I am an amazing hooker. I'm just very, I'm a very slow hooker. But it's all good. I mean, you don't want to rush through everything, do you? Especially when you're hooking. Sometimes you want to rush, but sometimes it's nice to just let it to let it go slow. Just a thought. All right, guys, I'll talk to you later. Have fun. One more thing before I go. Um, here's one of Miss Billy's potato bags. And it is, um, let me measure it real quick. Basically, seven and a half inches by like eight and a half inches, give or take. And I have a potato that is seven inches by about five inches. How long do you think that'll take to cook in the microwave? Or I'm gonna have to save that for the oven. I don't even know if that would fit. We grow them big in Alaska. Look at the size of that potato. That's like six meals for me. But I could make it one. 